Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Don Spoken God. I'm back again with another video. So today's video is going to be a Noel built and set up guide. So welcome. Come on in. Kick your feet up. Get relaxed. And hopefully I can teach you something new. So with that being said, let's jump on into it. Okay, so we are at Noel's attribute page. Here's her stats here. But before we continue on, I'm going to let you guys know I built my Noel to to be able to heal because I only have two healers and it's Noel and Barbara. That's it. I don't have no other healers. So if you're lacking in healers Mother. and you need some more healers, actually build Noel this way, okay? So she's not maxed out in defense. So that way, yeah, if you max out her defense, she will heal, but let you guys know now, she won't heal as much as my uh, Noel heals. Because I'm gonna tell you guys that I'm gonna show you guys that on um, why that's the why that's possible. Okay, so here's her uh, her stat details. You want to increase your elemental mastery more through your substats, so that way you can increase her shield crystallization power, so she can absorb more damage. Okay, you want to focus on that for your subs for your substats. You can see right here, her healing bonus is at 35%. So that helps her healing potential so much more. So that way she can actually heal a lot more from her breastplate, okay? All right, so you can see her powerful shield stat is at 35%. So that helps out so much more. So the only way for you to increase this stat is only only through the artifact uh, retracing bolide. So that's the only way for you to be able to get this uh, stat up, okay? And everything else is zero. So let's head over here to the weapons and see what she's just rocking. So right now she's using the white blind set. It gives 47% defense, which is huge. So you won't, this is like a main weapon. You don't want to use nothing else. Maybe until the new patch that's coming, that's coming out 1.1, she might be getting a new weapon. We're going to have to wait and see. But uh, definitely choose this weapon over everything else. So if you happen to get anything that's even better than this, that's good. But this is the free-to-play route. So you could craft this weapon at the blacksmith. So definitely choose this weapon. On hit, normal, or charge attacks increase attack and defense by 6% for 6 seconds. Max full stacks. This effect on can only occur once every 0 0.5. So you can basically have this always stacked up. It goes all the way up to 24%. So... This is a, a huge bonus for her. So let's check out the enhancements on it. So mine is a higher grade. Only thing you gotta do is just get the lower grades of these materials, okay? You're gonna do this on Mondays and Thursdays to get this material. Just get the lower versions. Just that uh, Fatui guy, you get the lower versions of this too. And this is the treasure hunter, guys. Her refinement on this weapon is just one, but it, it definitely gets stronger as you uh, rank it up. Okay, so let's check out the artifacts. Okay, so I'm rocking the full piece retracing bola set. It's a great set, so that way she could survive. Also, put out some serious damage with, with this set. Okay, so you, that's where you can have a, a, a nice balance between defense and attack. All right, so let's check out the flower. All right, so the main stats you want to focus on on your substats are defense percent, def, flat defense, and elemental mastery. Okay, so basically this is going to increase her survivability. Her, uh, her, her crystal absorption power so that she can so way it can last a lot longer and absorb a lot more and her healing potential okay so those are the stats that you want to focus on as you can see I got some uh, percent on this and some elemental mastery it's pretty good on the feather you can see over here I got flat defense but it could be a lot better but I just got a bad wolf right now but like I said, it could be better. The crit damage is nice on it, but we're not looking for that. All right, the hourglass. I got this one. I got a purple one, but, you know, I couldn't find no no good 
five star one, so I had to choose this one for now. I got flat defense on that. Okay, the cup. I got this cup right here. It got flat defense on it, and it has a high defense uh, percent on the cup. I got this cup because I couldn't find no other cup besides this one right here, which I'm going to let you guys know this is a godly roll on the substats, but I got attack on it. But if you actually looking for something, if you actually want some more attack damage, that's fine. You can use it. But the substats on this is freaking godly. Um, but yeah, I wish I would had a defense one like this, but I got to get what I can get. Okay. So her hat piece. So the, on this head piece, you can see I got 35% healing bonus on this one. Substats, uh, flat defense 21. The substats is okay. And that crit damage is crazy. <laughs> but this is what's going to make. Yo, Noel hit well heal for so much. Like she gonna be healing for like a thousand per hit, and that's just one monster. So if she hit multiple monsters, she's gonna take that multiple times. So be aware of that. And I'm gonna uh, demonstrate that pretty soon once we finish uh, coming out of this these stats and stuff. So like I said, this helps so much. But if you if you want more defense to uh, boost up her. When she's going to ultimate and do more damage, definitely go with the defense side of that, okay? But if you want more heals and survivability, definitely go with the go with this head piece, okay? Also, it don't have to be the exact head piece to make, to get the full piece. So you go on, remember, you all out of any one of these pieces here, any one of these artifact pieces, you can only choose one. You can only have one eyeball out, and basically my cup is my eyeball out. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, so let's head over to the constellations. Okay, my my uh, Noel, she don't have that many constellations, which sucks. I wish I'd have had, get got more, but you know, can't do it. So if you do happen to have all her constellations, her main constellation you want to focus on is her last one, the sixth one. This is going to increase her damage even so much more. Okay. Um, and her fourth one, this is which this is what's gonna make her hit like a freaking truck. Like she could get some serious, some serious, serious numbers off of this. Okay, so just be aware of that. Make sure when when you pop her ultimate and you pop her uh, her breastplate, this is what's gonna make her her uh, breastplate hit stupid hard when it pop or when somebody else try to pop it. All right, let's check out this talents. <laughs> Her talents is all maxed out for now at least. I'm not getting it up no higher than this until some tougher content comes out. Or maybe if I have the free time or, you know, any free mats. Okay, so they completely maxed out. Can't go no more until level 80. So as you as you uh getting your as you leveling up your uh Noel, you wanna prioritize this her breastplate uh talent first that's only if you want to uh, get our heels up faster okay so just keep that in mind so it's this one first and then this one and then work your way up for this one but like i said you could do it you could you could do it however you like you however you want to do it but that's the way i did it because i wanted to get her heels up so much faster i needed her to start healing asap okay um this talent right here this is a great talent because it basically knocks the cooldown off the breastplate okay okay so we over here at flow nine of the spiral abyss this is like the best flow to showcase noel's healing and damage potential okay so on this flow it does not have no modifiers for her besides picking these three cards i'm gonna go ahead and choose the max hp because Max AP does not uh, affect her stats besides just HP. Okay. You seem tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. I, I am a little tired. Do you tired. take sugar? One yeah. cube or two? Um, give me, give me two, give me two, Noel. Thank, thank you, Noel. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm running two Geo characters on on this team. I'm running those two because I'm beginning fifteen percent more attack damage while under a shield. So that if you got the 
uh, four piece retracing bullage, they'll actually bump it up to 55% more damage while under a shield. Also, I got two fire units. You can use any two fire units you want. That will increase the damage by 25%, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the showcase. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with some more content just like this. Also, do not forget about turning on that notification bell, so that way you don't miss about the next video. With that being said, deuces.